Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Molt. So happy to be here with you guys, as always. And once again, guys, we got another episode of Base Reviews with Molt. I hope you guys are excited. Right now we got s Dog 55 level 76, Town Hall 9. So this is going to be a Town Hall 9 video, guys. Um, I hope you all are looking forward to it. And yep, yeah, let me just pick a color real quick to draw with. Why don't we pick this blue? Um, and let's jump into this. So obviously he's a Town Hall 9. This is a farming base. As you can see, he has all of his storages right here in the middle. Um, which is obviously exactly what he's looking for. And the clan castle is centralized. So perfect job with that. That's exactly where you want your clan castle to be. Whether you're on, um, whether you have a trophy base or whether you have a farming base. Either way, that's where you want it to be. Um, he did do a good job of upgrading his wizards and his mortars. Um, I love splash defenses. They are the most important defenses in the game, in my opinion. So awesome job with that. Um, I'm pretty sure that you just recently got to Town Hall 9, seeing that you're only at level 76. Um, and you do have a lot of upgrading to do. So you did rush a little bit. It looks like your um, all of your archers are um, probably two to three levels below where they could be for Town Hall 9, um, as well as some of your cannons. So this cannon was not maxed out at Town Hall 8, but all the others were, so good job with that. Um, your Teslas obviously um, are lagging behind as well, so those need to be upgraded um, also. For anyone who's watching, always be sure, always be sure to max out your base before moving up. I know it's so enticing because, hey look, I got two Expos now, I'm at Town Hall 9, hey, I got another Tesla, yay for me. No, okay. You need to be patient. It's really, really hard. I want to go up to Town Hall 9 right now. So bad, but I'm not going to because I need to max it out. It's the smartest thing to do. Um, so make sure that you do that. Overall, I do like the base design. I like how um, you have this square. That is awesome. Um, you have everything triangulated. You have these in a rectangle, which is perfect. You have these triangulated. You have these triangulated as well. Um, and this wizard right here, eventually, once it's upgraded more, you might want to do like a, let me get rid of this, uh, you might want to do like a wizard, shoot, oh, you have that there, like a wizard, 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 or something along those lines, um, but who knows, you're not there yet, so that's fine, um, but overall, I like the base design, I think it looks good, so you're doing good with that S-Dog, you did rush a little bit, I'm sure that you know that as well. Um, I like these traps in here. I think that those will work, um, effectively. So good job with that. And yeah, looks like you got a lot, a lot of elixir. <laughs> um, overall, it's, it's a good base. You rushed, but other than that, it looks awesome. You've triangulated your defenses and everything. Um, so good job with that. Let's move on, all right, to Hugh, Hugh, Hoodley. Hoodley. <laughs> He is a Town Hall 9 as well. Um, he is a little rushed, as you can see. He does have um, one Wizard Tower that is maxed for Town Hall 8, and then these three right here are not. Um, so he did rush there. He also rushed with Cannon. Cannon. Uh, those two Cannons were should have been upgraded, as well as the Archers. So you did rush. You are at 2,500 trophies, so, I mean, that's good. Obviously, your base is working. Um... Once again, this is kind of a square, again, or a diamond, if you will, which I think is very, very effective. It's it's really smart to have um, a base layout like that. I think that the layout of this base is really, really good. Um, the air defenses are in a square, as you can see right here, which is good. The archer towers, <laughs> archer towers, the wizard towers are in a square. The mortars are triangulated. Um, so awesome job with that. Also, your defense, your point defenses, which are your cannons and your air uh, and your archers, are spread out very well. So, archer, cannon, archer, cannon, archer, cannon, archer, blah, 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 archer, cannon, archer, cannon. So, that's perfect. You've done a very, very good job of laying this base out. The only thing that you did wrong was rush. Um, but you know what? You can't do anything about that now. Um, it looks like you're doing really, really well for rushing. So. Good job, man. I like the layout a lot. I think that it obviously works very, very well for you. Um, this mortar down here is a little bit exposed. 
Um, see, look, it's gone. It's gone now because it was exposed. No, I'm just playing. Um, <laughs> but other than that, I mean, I really like this. Your clan castle's in the middle. Perfect. Your expos are right here. Centralized. Awesome job with that. Um, I can't really think of anything else to tell you to do except for um, upgrade, obviously. Upgrade your wizards first. Splash damage are very, very important. Only upgrade one at a time, though. Don't upgrade two or three of them because then you're going to be out of splash damage for like six days and that's going to suck. Um, so upgrade one at a time, okay? And then go with cannons because they do more damage. Uh, when you upgrade them up a level and you upgrade an archer tower up a level, archer towers take longer and they do less damage with that upgrade. So always upgrade cannons first in my opinion. But at the same time, you probably don't want to have more than two, maybe two on opposite ends upgrading. Um... But that's pretty much all. Uh, Hugh Delay, you're doing good, man. Uh, looks like you got a whole bunch of gold over here. Um, so good job, man. Just keep on upgrading. Splash damages, um, most important. So yeah, good job. Next, we have Dream Addicts. Uh, obviously, this is a trophy base. Um, he does have his clan castle in the middle, obviously. He has his yeah clan castle right there. Um, all of his wizards are around the sides. They are all maxed for Town Hall 8. Um, so he does need to bring those up, but he probably got here pretty soon. Um, looks like all of his archer towers were slash are about to be maxed, um, for Town Hall 8. Some are above. Um, all of his cannons were maxed for Town Hall 8, so good job with that. Mortars are already maxed for Town Hall 9. So awesome job with that as well. Um, it's good to see these triangulated. It's good to see these um, in a square or a diamond. Same with your air defenses right here. And same with your wizard towers. Man, you're doing an awesome job with that. Good job spreading out those defenses. Um, and just like I talked about in the last base, you've done a good job of spreading out your point defenses too. So you have two cannons. You have two cannons. And then you have this cannon right here. So they are spread out. You have these two archer towers right next to each other. Um, I might consider... Uh, no, that's fine. Um, don't worry about that. But you, you have done a good job of spreading out your um, your point defenses. So awesome job with that. Um, looks like you're upgrading the right things as well. You do have um, two archer towers upgrading right now. I would upgrade wizards first because they are beast mode. Um, especially once you get up to Town Hall 9 level, they are dirty. So overall, I like the base design. It's very, very interesting to me. Um, you have this little cross going on, which is cool. Um, so good job with that. It looks like this base would be hard to um, fully penetrate into the middle. So good job. Um, only suggestions, as I was saying, would be to upgrade wizards first. Um, other than that, man, you're, you're doing good. So awesome job. Next, we have Felipe. That's right. This is Felipe. Did I cut, I cut off some of his base. What am I doing? Let's scoot this thing up. Goodness. All right. You're going to see, some, whoa, you're going to see some of the bases in the background. Um, let me get, let me get rid of that real quick. All right. So there, we got rid of that. Bring this back up. Sorry about that. All right, so um, here's Felipe. Obviously, he is a Town Hall um, 9, as the rest of them. It is centralized, so he has a trophy base. Um, this base was definitely rushed. I, on my account, I believe I'm a 75 or 76, and I'm a Town Hall 8. He is a 69, and he's a Town Hall 9. So you can really notice if somebody is rushed, not only by looking at their base, but looking at their Town Hall level, and their number up here. Um, but obviously, all of his, I mean, his wizards are not, um, his wizards are not upgraded. They are in a, uh, in a square, which is good. Your air defenses are squared. Your mortars are really, really sketchy, actually, now that I'm looking at that. Um, they don't make a triangle at all, which they really, really should. Um, I don't know off the top of my head how you would fix that. Um, this base does look symmetrical, so I'm sure there's a way to do it. Maybe uh, move this mortar right here or something, but then you're going to be vulnerable. No, never mind. That's fine. Um, yeah, why don't you move that mortar right over here down to this point, 
and then move that up um, just to cover a little bit more of um, of that area. I don't know. Whatever. Figure it out. <laughs> um, I know that I'm, I'm doing the review, so I should figure it out. But all I'm saying is that these should be triangulated. Like, as you can see, um, they, they should look like this. Um, so try, <clears throat> try and find a way out to triangulate those. And make sure that you don't rush again to Town Hall 7. It will be... Or to town, why did I say Town Hall 7? To Town Hall 10. That would be a huge mistake. Um, you need to stay here for a long time and upgrade. You need to upgrade because you are falling way behind. I am a Town Hall 8 and all of my defenses are higher than yours. Um, so upgrade your wizards. Upgrade, upgrade your wizards first. Um, get those up. Don't do two at a time though. This is dangerous because right now you are missing out on some very valuable splash damage. So do one wizard, and then do maybe this mortar over here, and then upgrade a cannon. Um, so that's how I would handle it. That's just me. You can choose to do it or not. But you really, really need to upgrade your splash defenses first, and not rush again, because that will be very sad for you if you do that. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to move on. Uh, good job, Felipe. I think the design's good. The layout's a little weird with the mortars, but otherwise you are, you're you looking pretty good. Um, you did a good job of incorporating spring traps and whatnot. So, yeah, good job. Let's move on to the last one, guys. Right here we have a um, level 92, and this is pretty cool. No, I'm sorry. This is cool. Um, so this is cool, his base. Uh, why don't we talk about it for a little bit? So, he loves his Dark Elixir. Look at this. Holy crap. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. 66,000 Dark Elixir. So, I don't know if you're saving up to upgrade right over here in 8 hours. If you want to upgrade your Golems or something, um, whatever it may be. Or, I mean, you would have already upgraded your King. Where's your King? I don't see him. He's down here. You can upgrade him. But you're probably going for golems from the look of things. Um, so, yeah, good job uh, defending that. That's awesome. Um, obviously, that is very, very, very important to you. So good job with that. One thing I would change, this should not be out here. Especially if you are in an active clan. Um, that's one thing that I always, always preach. If anything, just bring it in to right here because I know you're trying to protect your dark elixir. Um, so bring that in. It is very important. Right now, it looks like you are... Did I say that? No. Um, I'm sorry. I just got confused. But this guy, he needs to be in here somewhere. I know that you're trying to protect your resources as well. Maybe bring it over here to where this cannon is and put this cannon out here. But he needs to be closer. Your clan castle needs to be closer to the inside. Otherwise, uh, it's just going to get drawn out. Um, also, I would... I guess you don't really care about trophies, obviously, so you don't have to bring um, any of these buildings in. But they are pretty far out, and they can all get picked off for free. Um, like, I could... See how your archer, ta your archer queen is asleep? I could easily pick off this gold uh, for free. This is upgrading, so I could pick off this for free. I could also pick off this for free, because they are so far away from the base. Um, so I would at least bring in your resource collectors. Um, I do like seeing that these mortars are triangulated. Awesome job with that. One of them is maxed out, so good job with that. Um, your wizard towers are not maxed out. This one is very vulnerable. It should be moved in um, to somewhere. Why? It, this archer tower shouldn't be in here. That archer tower is too deep in. Um, this wizard needs to be in here a little bit closer um, because he can get picked off very easily by... Um, a couple of barbarians and then a row of archers behind taking it out. So uh, your wizard should definitely be in a little bit more. Um, let's see, your cannons are all maxed for Town Hall 8. I imagine that you recently got here to Town Hall 9 from the look of things. Um, so yeah, man, just keep, keep upgrading. I would figure out something to do with your wizards um, because two of them are very exposed. It looks like um, you, you're putting things that are on construction on the outside. Um, I could be wrong. But again, you have two wizard towers that were upgrading at the same time, uh, which isn't really smart because then this half of your base is missing wizard tower damage, which is very important. Um, overall, 
you know, I think that it looks good. Your air defenses are are vulnerable as well. You need you definitely need to bring those in. This archer tower should be moved over here, and this air defense right there should be moved inward. Um, and this air defense should be moved in somewhere. I don't know. You have there might be too many walls in here in the middle area. <laughs> as you can see, everything is sectioned off. Um, I know that you want to do that to protect your dark elixir and everything, but I might consider um, opening that up a little bit and maybe putting some walls out here uh, to protect your air defenses and whatnot. Um, it looks like you're on your way, though. You're, you're upgrading things well, so good job with that. Um, but, yeah, that's about it. Uh, yeah, as always, guys, you guys rock. Thank you so much for watching. Y'all are awesome. You are so much cooler than me. Um, guys, check out Golgotha B, C, and D is going to be coming soon. Um, the main clan Golgotha is going to be trophy pushing, and we're going to um, try and have level 75 and up, um, and everyone else can join the other clans, because that's going to be the high-end clan that people are going to try and join. Um, but as always, guys, make sure that you keep calm and clash on for me, and I will see you later, all right?